Before you be haters, come for me in the comments. Hear my case out. Beyonce isn't just a pop star. She's a cultural force. The last generation of pop stars that shift the world. But here's the thing. Some folks just can't handle her power. With the release of Cowboy Carter, I wanted to dissect why Queen Bee reigns supreme and why some just can't stomach her success. Vocals from another planet. Honey, let's get real. The meh vocals just won't cut it when Beyonce exists. This woman hit notes in a way that makes your favorite singer jealous. Her range, her control, her power, it's unmatched in pop music today. Her instrument is so well preserved and so mature that it gives her the ability to enter any genre she chooses and shine as big as that genre's biggest stars. And for all of the casual B listeners who think this new album is the only time she ventured into genres beyond R&B, think again. There are numerous videos from way back that cover the extent of her experimental range. Deal with it. Reason number two, queen of performances. Forget lip syncing and backing tracks. Beyonce puts on a full blown spectacular show every single time she hits the stage. She's a dancer with a personality and she's just as good as her background dancers. A singer, the most detailed visual artist, all rolled into one. Her performances are more than just music. They're experiences full of layers. Homecoming the movie is the greatest example to showcase her work ethics on stage. But any tour she puts on from the Beyonce experience to now is so well thought of musically and full of choreo. Everyone is not on that level. I urge you to take the Beyonce experience, which is Beyonce's first solo tour, and compare it to your favorite artist's tour. Reason number three, owning her narrative. While Beyonce plays the pop star fame game, she's a businesswoman, a wife, and a mother. She uses her platform to empower women and celebrate black excellence, which she leans further into with each project, studying the greats to become greater. And guess what? It still sells. Why can't some people handle Beyonce's reign? Here's the tea. Overly polished perfection. Some folks find Beyonce's whole image to be a bit too perfect. In a world obsessed with relatability, which she is the furthest thing from, her seemingly flawless life can feel unapproachable and even robotic. Yet, when she is vulnerable and messy with Lemonade, for example, they automatically say it's fake or manufactured. Queen Bee Fatigue Beyonce has been at the top of her game for over two decades. That kind of constant presence can lead to fatigue, even for fans. People might crave something new and fresh, a shift in the pop landscape. To me, she's the only artist capable of reinventing themselves so dramatically and so drastically. The always wins narrative. Award shows love Beyonce, critics love Beyonce, brands love Beyonce. This constant praise can feel inauthentic and even manufactured. Some might argue it stifles competition and creates a sense of Beyonce being unbeatable. Threat to the status quo. She challenges the industry's expectations of female pop stars, which have been written down in stone for ages now. She's not just here to bust it down, she's here to make a statement while doing it. Trying to push the culture further and create more space for black creatives and female creatives at her table. The intimidation factor. Let's face it, her talent, beauty, and success are intimidating. It's easier to tear someone down than to acknowledge their greatness. That's what they used to do to Michael, which had it way, way worse than Beyonce in every aspect. But the bottom line is that love her or hate her, Beyonce is still a force to be reckoned with. Her impact on the industry is undeniable and it's still going. Do you think Beyonce is the ultimate pop star? Or do you think that there are greater pop stars in today's landscape? Are you a part of the Beyonce backlash? Subscribe for more.